Welcome to the channel, a channel of horrific stories and true stories. Grab a cup of coffee, fasten your seatbelt, and let's go. They kidnapped me and stole my car. Please don't leave me. We actually believed it at the time. The support arrived and more than one police car came and brought an ambulance for this poor man. But these two did something strange. As soon as they put their feet on the ground, this woman's clothes came out from her stomach and threw them at us. The problem is that she was not pregnant at all, and she was laughing at us all this time, and they started running in front of us. Kareem and I shot fire in the air and said, If you move and move again, I swear to God, the next bullet will be in your legs. Hey, some swindlers, okay, okay, don't hit me. Please, if you have weapons, take them out now. They do not have them. We arrested them, and it turned out that they had a criminal record, and the record, God willing, is bright. The police were looking for them for a while, thank God. Currently, they are under arrest, and every Eid we get a gift from the man with the car who saved us. Al-Haqqani I love my job. I love being a police officer. I help people and protect them from... The bad guys are like the ones you saw in this story. Come, I will show you the video while I arrest them. You would like to be a police officer like this. As we saw, the police may be terrifying, but they are terrifying for swindlers and thieves, but they are never terrifying for ordinary people. On the contrary, the presence of the police is evidence of security and safety. May God protect everyone who protects us and maintains our security and safety. I am thinking that YouTube is lucky to have a horror channel. Where is the channel in its place? You will find the link in the description and in the first comment below. And as usual, if you reach the end, I love you. You are brave. You are not afraid. In fact, the real horror has not yet arrived. Dev Call Kill. The police always aim to help and protect you, but imagine that the police might terrorize you. Before the episode starts, don't forget to like the video to encourage me to continue. I sent this video to everyone you have, and subscribe to the channel and did not subscribe, and activate the bell on everyone so that you will receive a notification as soon as they arrive. Go down and be the first person to watch it. If you would like to comment with me at the end of the video, go down and leave a comment below. I am seriously evil. This is a channel and watch. It is terrifying. Imagine that a girl wants to give birth, but the police prevent her from giving birth. What is the reason and what is the terrifying story behind this topic? I will tell you the story in the words of its owner. My name is Officer Ashraf. He has been working in the police for three years, and I have the right to encounter many strange situations. But the situation that I am telling you now is considered one of the strangest situations that I have been in. It was a Monday. My colleague Kareem and I were sitting in the car, looking toward the radar, because a car came back quickly, we got a ticket, and a car came back next to us. It was going at an insane speed. Kareem told me, why is she running like that? His brother-in-law can't walk like that. This is dangerous for the other cars. Within seconds, Kareem stepped on gas, and we were in pursuit with this car, and I noticed that the license plate on his car was messed up. The side man, Kareem, said to me, you knew how to register the car's plate, yes, but something was not right. I came out of the window. He stopped the car, you animal. I kept stopping the car again, but the one who was driving did not stop. The last warning stopped the car immediately. We left the highway and entered the city, and the speed began to slow down, and I was coming alongside. The carriage and I told them again to stop. I am telling you that the car stopped in front of a hospital, and we were holding pistols here. We went to this car and what we saw terrified us. We saw a man in his thirties and he was not wearing a t-shirt and his side was a woman. It was clear that she was pregnant and her hair was messy. He looked worried. The woman looked at me and said, 
You're not supposed to help people. You heard me well. The topic was strange. Why were you talking to us like that? Why were you trying? I'm a pregnant woman and I'm giving birth now, and you don't want to admit me to the hospital because you're suspicious of me. She put her hands on her stomach and asked them, Where are you coming from? I'm pregnant and I'm giving birth now. What is it? There is no mercy. No, there is no mercy. Answer the question. I am before I have children and I can tell if one of them is actually a woman. You can be anything. After you are, you are going to give birth right now. At this moment, the woman has changed. I felt that she did not know what to do and that we were bored in talking. She looked at Karim and started to tell him, Tell your colleague that he is supposed to respect us and not behave with us in this way. Look, all we want is to make sure that everything is perfect, nothing more. So help us, please. You don't understand that I am going through a very difficult situation and that I am going to be born. Leave us in the hospital. I started telling her that it is okay. Why didn't they enter hospitals before that? The man spoke at the time and said, We just got nervous when you started answering us. Answer the question, Your Honor. Officer, don't worry, we were in a hurry, but in seconds we heard the sound of something fumbling in the bag of his car. What is that sound? What are you putting in the bag? What bag? Surely I heard wrong. Open the bag immediately. Open it. I called and asked for support. I was holding the gun and pointing it at the man. We opened the bag and saw a kidnapped man. He was drowning in sweat and curled up in fear. The first time he saw me, he threw himself outside the bag and fell to the ground so that the ties that were tied to him were gone. Thank you. They lied.